Hi, my name is Josh Emery, and I'm the CEO of Lost Co. I'd like to introduce to you some of my colleagues. Danny Ogier, he's the CFO. J.D. Trevino, the COO, and Jay Cannon, the CMO. We have a board of advisors. Dr. Bruni is our financial advisor. Dean McKinney is our lawyer. And Dr. Taylor is our biologist. Now, what is Lost Cove? Lost Cove is a dry dock marina, dry dock boat storage. Uh, we offer uh, uh, an opportunity for you to call in, to uh, email us, to set up online, anything, any way you can get in touch with us, to request for your boat to be put in for you ahead of time, or when you get there. We're located in Texas on Lake Louisville in Denton, McKinney, and <clears throat> the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We offer gas on the lake uh, from our docks that will make your trip easier and let your time on the lake last a lot longer. We offer a mini mark that can be accessed from the uh, road or from the lake. Uh, our mission statement is to provide a swift and efficient service to store, maintain, and protect customers' aquatic equipment while providing competitive gas, food, and lakeside products. Our goal is to provide exceptional personal service to our customers that will make a lasting impression for their boating experience that will pass on for generation to generation. Our main objective is to uh, cover the total expenses within three years and to expand into a franchise offering these service on additional lakes. Our philosophy is we want to help our customers have the best boating experience through us while providing exceptional service on and off the lake. We're a limited liability company. We are going to be the main workers who will share the tax burden and we'll have one liability at the same time. Now, I'd like to introduce to you Jay Cannon, uh, our CMO, to talk about uh, our customers and our competitors. <clears throat> the Grow Voting Initiative determined that there are 22 million U.S. households that fit the demographic profile of the typical first-time vote buyer. Of these, 66%, or 14.5 million, have never owned a vote. This is your mid-30 male who is married with at least one, th one child and a household income of at least 55000 or more. Typically, they live in a suburban area, so their knowledge of boating and boat maintenance is limited. This is where we come in, offering services to keep their boat running and safe for a long period of time. Most of, most of these people also have a limited amount of space in their homes. So who are our customers? The boat owner that is looking to slow down their lifestyle, you know, relax, you know, reconnect with the family, you know, bring them back together. Um, they live about 25 miles from the lake, and uh, our docks are meant to be easy access, you know, just completely convenient in everything that they need. Our competitors are uh, Pier 121 Marina. Hidden Cove Park and Marina, and also Cottonwood Creek Marina. Um, we, we will be looking to use our uh, convenience and our service to be able to separate ourselves from our competitors. And here is Josh Emery a little bit more. I'm going to talk to you all about some of our advising and promotion techniques. Most of them will be word of mouth advertising. Uh, it will be our, our biggest asset is our customers. We're, we're a, a satisfaction-based company, and our customers, when we satisfy them, we're hoping that they will be happy and they're all going to come back. Our workers are going to be wearing uh, matching shirts, matching uniforms with our logo on it. People will see our logo, and they will know that this is Lost Cove uh, Dry Bar Boat Storage in, uh, at Lake Louisville, Texas, and people are going to want to go find out more. Uh, we have a website that our customers can use that you can window shop you can find out what we're offering and what can best fit your lake experience. We're also going to be offering clothing and other accessories that you can use in the lake. Crokies, little, you know, the drink things that you use that everyone loves because you don't like your hand getting wet. And all of them are going to display our beautiful logo. Uh, Lost Cove has multiple logos. We have a, a variety for a reason. I love graphic design. 
I think it's fun, and I like to use graphic design to promote companies. I think when you see a logo like Nike, you know what it is. Southern Marsh, Fayette Chill, the kind of stuff that's in right now, the Southern Outfitter-like shirts. People see their logos and they know what it is. It's a, it's a symbol for them and we want to use that as a symbol for us. Not just as a, a boat storage company located in Texas, but as something that has future opportunities that can grow to no one knows what. Uh, now, I would like to introduce Daniel Auger, our CFO, to talk about some financials. Well, uh, good afternoon. Um, as he said, I'll very, very briefly talk about the financials. Uh, first off, our initial funding. We'll be using both forms of funding, debt and equity. For equity, we'll all be pitching in um, roughly around $50,000, um, and we're in charge of coming up with that money, whether that's through credit card debt or through friends and family, or hopefully through like, personal savings and stuff like that. So we can all have an equal investment into the company. Then after we have that initial money, we will purchase the land and we'll apply for a small business loan um, that is backed by the government uh, for about $1 million for more information on the terms, uh, the length of the loan, and the interest rate and all of that. You can look to your appendix where everything is kind of listed out step by step. <clears throat> Next, we're going to look at the three sources of revenue. Uh, we have three sources, as I just mentioned. We have the membership. Uh, which we'll be charging $100 a month, and upon our research and looking at competitors, that is a very competitive price, yet it will allow us to still remain profitable. Uh, next, other source of revenue would be the gas. Um, both members and non-members alike can come up and buy our docks, and then purchase gas, and that's how we break in more money that way. But our biggest source of revenue would be the our inventory sales from convenience stores. We uh, have the yearly breakdowns, uh, which are then therefore broken down even more into seasonal breakdowns. And so in the summertime, of course, is our peak season where everyone with moms and their families want to go uh, to the lake and, and do pontoon boats, and um, there's a party cove action on the lake and stuff like that, and so we'll have a lot of revenue from there. But also in the winter, which we are surprised by, there's a large amount of fishing on this lake. And so we have, a, we've lower, uh, as you can tell, we lower the gas sales, but we increase a little bit of the inventory sales, the more than you'd expect. And so because there's a lot of bass uh, fishing there. So that we'll, at the inventory, at the convenience store, we'll have uh, food and drinks and bait and tackle and stuff like that. But if you move on to um, the financial statements themselves, you'll see that we are profitable in the third year and that our cash is slowly increasing. And so that means that long-term we'll be sustainable and our loan is big enough to sustain us until we are profitable. And I think it would be a great expansion for us. And um, JD will come up here uh, right now and talk to us about how we plan on growing and how we become more even profitable. JD? Thank you, Daniel. As you said, in our third year, we actually plan on being very profitable and actually increasing after that. In our third year, we actually are planning on uh, building our storage building, expanding it in about half of a percent of what we already have. After that, in the next five years, we actually have plan on actually doing a deli restaurant and actually adding on to the gas station to the street in which at that time we actually plan on getting more customers expanding more a little bit better providing more different services that most of boats don't have that we also want to try to put in a triple a service so if your boat breaks down on the lake we can actually come and pull you in and help you get it fixed and get you back out there having fun we also plan on actually moving uh, we're not really moving, but expanding our things in Texas, probably going to another lake so we can get our name more out there and then maybe actually expanding on going to a different state, uh, sky's the limit. So now I'm going to turn it back over to our CEO, Josh Emery. Now this is the technically the end of our presentation. Uh, if you have any questions, you can feel free to email us at lostcove at gmail.com. Uh, we are very excited about the opportunity for you to invest in us. We, we want your business. We want to be able to prove to you that we can be very successful, like we've said, and I guarantee you that we can. If you just give us the opportunity to give us the money to help start a great franchise, a great thing that can, can benefit many customers throughout Texas and even throughout the rest of the United States once we expand. Uh, if you just grant us this, this wish that we have that would make our dreams come true. We can have the whole small business, United States, America kind of thing, and we can all come together and, and work for a long time, and, and hopefully you will uh, 
granting us this. Thank y'all for y'all time, and I hope y'all have a great.